Alrighty, we are now just 142 days away from the official release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio, as well as creator George Lucas. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, what's really exciting about this film is that we do know that this movie is going to be taking a lot of risks by J.J. and George and Chris as to do something very much incredible that's really going to take fans by surprise and really make us really satisfied with the overall film and how it turns out in comparison to The Last Jedi and The Force Awakens. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the plans by Disney, Lucasfilm, JJ, and crew, this is where things begin to get very exciting for the final scene of Episode 9. Now, specifically, it's described that during the rewrites of 2018, for the months of November and December is that George Lucas was significantly involved in the rewrites for the second and third acts of the movie, where it's said that George Lucas was the one that wrote the final scene of the film with J.J. Abrams. It's said that the final scene of the film by George and J.J. is deeply inspired by an old, rejected idea from Star Wars Legends back in the early 2000s, and that it will serve as a revelation bigger than the I Am Your Father moment that will take fans by surprise. It's described that the final scene of the film involves a massive revelation between one legacy character and one sequel trilogy character, based character that it actually serves as the biggest reveal of the film that George and JJ took over one month to write to get it done correctly during reshoots that last all the way until September. Additionally, it's described that the scene required a set that was the biggest set ever used in Star Wars film history, and that the location of where the major revelation takes place between these two characters will excite fans greatly. It's that George and JJ were given full creative control from Disney and Lucasfilm, and were able to do exactly as they wanted to end the whole saga. So, let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now, the thing here is this. Now, the final scene is said to outperform the revelation of I Am Your Father from The Empire Strikes Back, and it's also described to take place between one legacy character and one sequel trilogy character. An example could very well be Luke and Kylo, or maybe Kenobi and Rey, or something around those lines, right? So, when we, th when we actually think about legacy characters and sequel trilogy characters, how it, this major revelation is going to involve one of each really does bring up a big question here. Does this have to do with a bloodline? Does, th does this actually have to do with something else? We're not quite sure. But the actual set that was used for this sequence is said to be the biggest set that was ever used for a Star Wars film in its history of the saga. So that means that it could very well be something massive to the point where it's really going to take fans to a point where it's going to mind boggle us. We're going to left scratching our heads for years on end talking about this ending. Now, this matches directly up with what Kevin Smith said of what the crew told him. Keep in mind that that is not what Kevin Smith said himself, it's what the crew told Kevin Smith, is that the final shot of the film will melt your mind. Now, this most certainly ties directly into what we actually heard just a couple of days ago by Kevin Smith of what the crew told him. So, the fact that this revelation is said to be bigger than the I Am Your Father moment, and involves one legacy and one sequel trilogy character, it tells me that most likely it's going to have to do with, I'm going to go with either Kylo Ren and Luke, or Luke and Rey. I think that's going to be the combo there, one of each. I think that when we look at episode 9, it really is all about the Skywalker family, and so it should be. So, does this necessarily mean that Rey is going to be a Skywalker? Not really, we'll have to wait and find out. But the other thing that really catches me by surprise is that this actual scene took over one whole month to write during the rewrites of November and December of 2018 that were actually being planned for all of the reshoots that took place from April that are now stretching all the way until September of this year. In case you guys are out of the loop, uh, the reshoots are now extended all the way until September. And they plan to end this movie to actually wrap it up completely, you know, all the editing done, everything finished by late October of 2019 this year. 
And that's when you're going to get a lot of those TV spots, right? Because at that point in time, uh, they are very confident with the footage they already have and what they will be using in the final cut. So, moving on forward, the thing that really also excites me is how George Lucas was significantly involved with J.J. Abrams in the writing of the final scene, and that they were both given full creative control by Disney and Lucasfilm. You know, we're talking about, uh, you know, Kathleen Kennedy, who wrote, who actually runs Lucasfilm, and said that she didn't get in the way of all of this. Uh, it was just J.J. and George. No word of Chris Terrio for the final sequence. So, I think that's respectful. I think that George really should have been the one to end the Skywalker saga and to write in the final scene of this nine-part story. And I think that's a great move by Disney and Lucasfilm that they actually allowed him to do that. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.